Hi, Zop is an easy way to build native apps for your internal teams. Let's say you have a food or a grocery delivery business and you want to create an app for your delivery fleet. Here is how one such app would look. The delivery person clicks on the task, scans the QR code of the item at your pickup location, and once he picks up the item, starts traveling towards a customer's location. She should be able to access the customer phone number address and even navigate to the customer location using Google Maps. And once she reaches the delivery location, she can enter some delivery notes, take pictures as proof of delivery, and even collect payments. Now once the delivery is complete, she hits complete to complete the delivery. Now let's see how we can create one such simple app using Zop in the next 10 minutes. Let's start with workflows. Workflow shows the sequence of steps that need to be followed to complete one single delivery. If you remember, we have four different screens in our delivery process. The first one is a pickup process. The second one is the travel. We need one more for the delivery and the last one for a completed acknowledgement screen. And these steps happen one after the other. All right, now our basic blueprint is ready. Let's start designing the mobile app screens. In order to design, just click on an app screen. So here we can visually design this app using the components that are available on the left. For example, if I wanna show a text information, I can drag and drop a text component and start configuring it. All right, now let's pick up the product from the warehouse. And for this, we are going to use a QR scan. So the scan component can scan both QR and barcode scans. So whatever item that we actually scan via the QR code component needs to be stored in a database so that we can use it in the future. So Zor provides a database by default with every single workflow. You can access it by clicking on this icon. And you can see that there are some default data points available, but in this case, we can create our own custom one. So we'll call this picked item. Now the first screen is complete and we might wanna change the CTA here. We'll call this staff. Now the next step is the travel step call this travel and here we want to show the name of the customer and the phone number and the address so unfortunately we don't have a way to read the name of the customer in our data so this needs to be collected as an input at the time of task creation so this again can be configured in the data fields so we'll go create a new data field called customer name and this is a text and we say this data point needs to be collected as an input at the time of task creation. Similarly, we'll create another data field for customer phone number. And we will create one more for customer location. So here we'll use a location component which accommodates both text address and latitude and longitude. So now coming back to the screen, so instead of a static text over here, we can use the data that is available in our customer name. Similarly, we'll also show the customer phone number. We can also show the customer address. We'll show the text address here. And we can show the lat long address in the maps component. Now we are done with the second screen also. And we'll change the CTA from next to deliver. All right. Let's configure the delivery screen. The delivery screen shows the scanned item details. 
If you remember, we stored this data in our data field called picked item. So we will simply show that over here. We'll collect some images as proof of delivery. And we can store these images again in our database. And I can say that I accept only camera images and not from gallery. Similarly, I can collect payments using the payment component. And in the payment component, I can configure like what amount need to be collected and what options I have. Do I allow cash? Do I allow QR code? Both. So in this case, we can probably allow only QR code, only digital payments. And I again can save this data to the data fields. All right, so our configuration is done. And the last step is a completed step. In the completed step, we'll show an acknowledgement. And we can also show the item that was delivered. Cool. Our entire application is ready. Let's just name it once. Now we are ready to go live. Before that, we also have the option to push any data that we have gathered in this application to an external system. So the way to do that is to choose any transition and call a REST API action. So this will help you integrate with any external API and push the data in real time to any external system. So now let's publish the application and start testing it. When I hit on publish, your app goes instantly live. So our users can scan the QR code or click on these links to download this ORP app and start executing their tasks immediately. In order to test it, let's create a sample task. We have the delivery app available. We'll choose the team and the user who is going to execute it. I'm going to give a sample address. And the customer name also needs to be provided as an input along with the customer phone number. So I hit create. Now our task is ready to be tested. All right, so we have the task available. Let's open it. Scan the item for pickup. go towards the customer location. We can navigate via Google Maps if needed. Deliver the item. Take some pictures. Collect payments via QR code if necessary. And complete the delivery. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for listening.